I'm going to try this style of video for showing you the directions of the currents in um, pre-quiz 21.1. Okay. Now remember that the rule for this is that the current flows in such a way as to resist the change in flux. Okay. So uh, if the flux is increasing, right, then what the current does is it flows in such a way as to oppose the change. So if you, if you increase it, you oppose it. Right. If you gain some amount of flux, you oppose that. And then if you lose a certain amount of flux, the current flows in such a way as to replace that amount of flux. Okay? So you've got to know that. If you, if you gain it, you oppose it. If you lose it, you replace it. Okay? Or if it's a magnet moving, you oppose the motion of the magnet. Right? So that, that's the key concept. And then the second thing you need to know is that if I have a, a loop of wire with the current going anti-clockwise, the flux is out of the page. It's dots. right? And if it's going clockwise in a loop, then it's creating flux into the page. Okay, and if we've got a loop of wire and say the, 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 the current's going up the front of the coil as you see it, the, the thumb is the north pole and the, the heel of my hand is the south pole. Okay, so take a look at that first one. You've got a loop that's entering a place where there's flux out of the page. So that loop is gaining flux out of the page while it's entering the, the, the magnetic field region where the dots are, right? It's gaining out of the page, right? Well, if you gain out of the page, you oppose that by creating into the page. So I turn my hand that way. My thumb is into the page. That's the direction of the flux inside the loop, and that's what we care about. Okay, so take a look at that one. We're gaining flux into the page. We don't like that, right? We don't like flux into the page, so we create flux out of the page. So therefore, it's anti-clockwise, right? My fingers are going anti-clockwise. That's the direction of the current. Here, my fingers were going clockwise, so that's the direction of the current. Take a look at that guy. That guy is, we are as we pull it out, as soon as it starts to leave the field, we're losing magnetic field out of the page or magnetic flux out of the page, right? So we recreate it. We go anti-clockwise to recreate the flux out of the page. Okay? Here in this guy here, we're losing flux into the page, right? Because as it leaves there, and only while it's leaving, you know, once it's, if it's inside there or if it's totally outside, it's not changing. But while it's changing, okay? We're losing flux into the page, so we recreate that flux. We go clockwise to create flux into the page. My thumb is pointing into the page. Okay. Okay, so now this thing's not moving, but the magnetic field's increasing. Right? So we're gaining flux out of the page, so we, we oppose that. Right? So we go clockwise to create my thumb is into the page. Right? Flux into the page. Here, we're losing flux into the page. Right? Because the B is decreasing. So we create flux into the page. We replace it. We lose it, we replace it. Okay? Now this is magnets. Magnets are easy, right? You have a north pole approaching. You don't like that. We don't like that north pole approaching, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to make a north pole toward that guy, right? We're going to make a north pole. This is my north pole, right? So the current's going to flow down the front. This is the direction of the current. Down the front of the coil, right? Now we've got a south pole moving away. We don't want that south pole to move away. Come back, south pole. You've always been here, right? So how do you keep a south pole from moving away? Again, you would present it with a north pole, right? You'd give it a north pole and be like, hey, I'm attracted to that north pole. That north pole's got it going on, right? Okay, so we got the north pole there. Okay, this one, this is like diabolical, right? So here we've got to use two right-hand rules here. First one is just for the magnetic field around the wire. Okay, the the if I put my thumb in the direction of that current, the magnetic field on the right of the wire is into the page, right? Out here, it's it's out of the page, right? So I'm going like that, right? So now we've got magnetic field out of the page, and it's increasing because the current's increasing, right? So if we've got field out of the page, we're gaining out of the page, so we oppose that by going into the page. So the current in that little loop is going to go clockwise, okay, to oppose that. Okay, here we've got thumb in the direction of this current here, right? The current is into the page above the wire. It's always to the right of the current as you drive down the road. It's into the page, out of the page, okay? It's out of the page, but now we're losing, in the vicinity of that, of that circle, we're losing flux out of the page, right? Well, we don't want to lose flux out of the page. We've always had it, right? So we go flux anti-clockwise to replace the flux we lost. Okay? Okay, so uh, the current in the outer loop increases. So first off, B 
because that loop is going this way, right, the flux due to this outer loop is out of the page all the way inside here, right? Now outside sort of spread out, you know, you've got flux into the page, but, but that's what we care about, right? So we are increasing, we're gaining flux out of the page, right? Okay, so we don't like that, so we oppose the change. We create flux into the page by going clockwise in that little inner loop. This one looks tricky, but it's not. It's the same situation as this, and I'll, I'll show you why. Okay, so the inner loop is increasing, right? Well, the inner loop is creating flux out of the page. Okay, and for sure there's flux into the page outside, but not every flux line goes into the page inside in this little space in between, right? So the majority of what's happening is happening because of this flux out of the page here, okay? So basically it's, an, it's a case of where we are inside that outer loop. The net change really is that we're increasing flux out of the page. We're gaining out of the page, right? So we gain flux out of the page. The way you oppose that is to create flux into the page. So it's going to be clockwise in the outer loop. Okay. Um, these guys are easy. We're actually going to use the charge particle rule. What you do is you pretend to be a positive particle flying along with that thing, right? Okay. And you just go index finger this way, right? Middle finger is going to be out of the page, right? And you put your thumb in the direction of the thing. So my thumb is actually down the page, right? So the, the velocity is that way. The magnetic field's out of the page because that's the dots, right? My thumb is the direction of the force, so positive charge would be forced to the bottom. Now, of course, positive charge can't move. Negative charge actually is moving. It's the electrons that move, but it's the same thing. This becomes positive by the subtraction of the negative charges, okay? How about this guy here? Which end of the wire is positive? Well, again, pretend to be a positive charge on the wire because that's the easiest, right? And then I've got index finger that way, okay? Index finger that way, middle finger into the page, right? So it's gonna be to the right in that frame of reference right there. I just turned the paper because, okay, so this side here is gonna be the, let's see if I can do it, I can do it. I can sit on the counter here. Index finger that way, middle finger, middle finger is into the page, right? Okay, my thumb is pointing this way. Let's see if I can get it in the camera, there we go. <laughs> So there's the positive side, this would be the negative side, right? Okay, check this guy out. What's happening here is this, this wire is moving and we're, we're increasing the area. It was here, now it's here, then it's there. This area in here is increasing, right? So we are gaining flux out of the page because of the dots are out of the page, right? So if we gain out of the page, we create flux into the page, right? Okay, we can also do this, right? This is kind of fun. We can also be a positive charge going down that wire, right? The magnetic force would cause things to go down the wire, right? So it would go this way, this way, this way, and this way, right? It would go clockwise either way, right? Take a look at this guy, okay? We are, um, as this thing slides, we're losing area because that little this thing, this, this U-shaped thing stays still, right? This bar slides with respect to it, right? So we're losing flux into the page. The response to that is to recreate flux into the page, right? So it's gonna be clockwise. And then this guy, we've got a north pole approaching from above the page, right? If a north pole approaches you, you oppose that by presenting a north pole to the north pole. North pole's coming down from above, right? So it's gonna go anti-clockwise. Yeah. All right. I hope that helps.